everyone, welcome to LV Toys. In the last video, we put together the bottom floor of a modern princess's penthouse. In this case, this one is for Rapunzel. It is Rapunzel theme. It was purple and it is pink and it is where she goes to chill out when she has to spend big days in the city when she can't get back out to the castle. So this is her modern penthouse and we need a second story and here we're going to put stairs going up to the second story which is why I left a big space. So these are the stairs we're going to use, nice sleek black and that's going to go in with the rest of our colour scheme and we have to make sure she actually can fit on those stools underneath but this is a bit short of the next level so we're going to need to build these steps up first that's going to be our first <laughs> first building project is to make sure the steps actually reach the next level but before we do that let's put the next level on temporarily these are the pieces we're going to use so this is going to be the floor plan for the second level and that's pretty good. Okay, and the stairs are going to come up to this part here. That's going to be the little walkway area. And we're going to need to build it up quite, yeah, quite a bit. Okay, so let's, uh, let's, let's see. Uh, we'll put it here, I think. And we'll use, just <laughs> trying to hold it in place while I, while I put bricks in. We'll use a glass one here. And then we're going to need another couple of steps up, I think. And let's see. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that's nice, except I actually want this, I want the stairs to join underneath there. That's what I really wanted. Uh, so let's move everything one stud further forward. Poor Rapunzel has hit the floor over there. <laughs> it's not safe for her to be here while we're building. But seeing as how she's here, let's just tuck her under the stairs and see if she can sit on it. She can too. Oh. <laughs> Excellent plan. So she does actually fit under the stairs. She can use the breakfast bar. Excellent. All right. So now we need we need to make a step up to this first step here. So to do that, we're going to take a smooth piece here, a four by one. We're going to put some little single square studs on here, and ta-da! Now we've got our bottom step. And I'm going to put some lights underneath the steps just to brighten it up a bit because it is so black and dark and we don't want to miss stepping on, well, we don't want to miss these steps as we're going up them at night. And these little single studs will help brighten everything up if I can get it on. That is so, such a tight little spot. I'll just not use my teeth. I did not use my teeth to put those on. Anybody? Nobody saw me use my teeth. So that's nice. We've now got three lights going up. Let's smooth over all the other steps so that they match so nicely. And now it looks sleek and modern and gorgeous. And at the bottom and the top, we're going to have matching magenta rugs, dark pink rugs. And that actually helps hold the stairs on really securely there on the top. And, sorry Rapunzel, we're just tossing you everywhere around at the moment. Underneath, if we put one of these pieces, that's going to hold it snugly on the bottom too, which is going to be important. We're not going to put it on just yet, but I plan to. Let's pull everything off up here. I haven't decided whether I want to build this second level down here on the floor or whether I want to build it up on the second level. But the first thing I need to do is reinforce this floor. So we're going to use some really big long pieces here to hold these all in place. And that's going to stop them from flopping around everywhere because apart from the little room divider with the, with the vase in it down below and the fridge, uh, we, we don't have a lot of support in the middle. So we're going to use this for added support. That's going to work very nicely, I think. So if I now put that on, I'm just making sure I'm not actually connecting with any of my oh, Rapunzel. Just hop out for now. <laughs> uh, yep, that's all. Oh, that's so snug. It's just in front of the kitchen cabinets. It's just beside my glass room divider. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. So now when I tap down on it, it's not going to collapse everywhere. And we're going to be able to build on that. All right. Okay, so you know what? I think I will actually build up in situ. I will build up here on the second level. We're going to put a light here, which is going to be in that little walkway through area between the kitchen and the living area. And our jumper studs are working very nicely. Oh, there's an eyeball there. Okay, so let's... <laughs> I didn't notice that when I was putting the bottom level together. If we just turn it that way, we won't see it anymore. There we go. Eyeball removed. That's what happens when you're using recycled bricks. <laughs> I just find the right shape. It all works nicely. 
There, okay, so everything's fixed now and we can fit this on really very, very nicely. And I'll show you at the end how it will come off really easily too. So let's, let's get Rapunzel up here onto the second level. Looks all snug and secure and let's start building up here. So let's get her back off the second level. So as you come up the steps, I decided we needed a bit of a feature. You know how you walk up steps and you have a mirror or some sort of really fancy painting? We're gonna do that. So this part here is uh, is going to be our frame around the bed and this here is where we're going to have a beautiful art deco mirror and we're going to put these scrolls next to it and a couple of little lights. Ah, pretty. So that's what we're going to see as we come up the steps. This mirror actually came out of the hairdresser set, out of the Lego Friends hairdresser set. It's already got that Art Deco print on it and it's the right colours. It's just perfect. Look at that. It's perfect for when you're coming up the stairs. She's standing right where the bed's going to be. But before we do the bed, let's add a little dresser next to where the bed's going to be. This is where she can store her spare undergarments, all the important things. And on the top of the dresser next to the bed is... One of my favorite pieces. I just want so many of these. These are the little teacup and saucers. I just want so, so many of these. They are so adorable. And she's gonna sit in bed, she's gonna read the paper. In this case, she's reading the Ninjago paper because it's got the best colors on it and the nicest print. <laughs> so that's what's up there. Okay, uh, let's make some railings and let's make them really nice and modern and glassy, but with some more lights underneath. Going to smooth them over the top. We're gonna make, uh, Okay, we're going to make the front focal part that is right next to the stairs a bit of a flower feature and that's going to hold up the front of our railings and we're going to do the matching, we're going to do it matching over here as well. So we'll put our flowers just here. They're like little, it's just like a little planter and we'll put our railing across here. There, that's the idea, but let's... uh. Let's remove that because that's going to be in the way while we put our bed in. So bed's right where Rapunzel's standing. So we will we'll build it down here because this one's going to be a bit tricky. So this bed needs to be modern, but it needs to have Rapunzel colors. So this is what we are going to work with. Let's uh, let's make it flat, kind of like a futonish kind of bed, kind of. And do you know what? This is actually a bed you're going to recognize, I think, when it's finished because I didn't design this. This has come straight out of one of one of the Lego Friends house sets. And I want you to tell me in the comments if you recognize where this bed has come from. But having the little exposed studs on the side is brilliant. It means we can put some color on the side. And these bedspreads are also the right colors, the stickers, to make the bedspread just perfect. It's just, it was just perfect. So I just left it alone. So where did this bed come from? Let me know in the comments, but it is now going in Rapunzel's modern princess apartment. There we go, it fits perfectly. Now next to this, we need to make a partition to break up the bedroom from the bathroom. There's this little tiny space here to make the bathroom. It's not a lot, but she's only one person living in here. So partition, uh, we need just a little bit of privacy, though she's alone, so she doesn't need a lot, but we're going to put some stained glass, translucent pieces here in some really nice colors. So we're gonna use black and we're gonna use pink. We're gonna use purple as our striking colors to make a feature partition wall between the bedroom and the bathroom. We're gonna alternate the black and the purple and pink layers. So now, hold on, there's something, what's wrong with this? Oh, I needed another pink piece down here. Okay, so I just need a little pink stripe down here. That's better, that looks better. All right, and then we can put another little pillar on the other side. And look at that, we've got a nice little modesty partition between the bedroom and the bathroom. It's so pretty. And I would like to use a lamp, a nice big hanging lamp to light up the bedroom. And we needed the most modern one that I could possibly find. This one has also been taken almost directly from one of the other Lego Friends houses. So tell me in the comments if you recognize it, but it's just so perfect. And I've used this a couple of times in my custom builds because it's so cute. And the, uh, the black bendy bits actually starting to bend down just a little bit too much. We're gonna use this to secure the top in. And if we had another roof, we could just stick this up into the roof above and stop it from bending down. But 
For now, we're just going to have to put up with it being just a little bit fatigued, but it makes the most perfect lamp for the bedroom. I love it so much. Okay, let's put the railing in here. Because uh, we've finished this section, we can't possibly fit any more in the bedroom and the little entryway section. Let's put a bit more of our railing in along here. So the railing's going to stop Rapunzel from just randomly wandering off the edge and ending up in, in the living room in the middle of the night, not remembering how she got there because she fell off the top level. Okay, now into the bathroom, we've got such a small space. Over here, we're going to put a shower. So I'm going to put four of these little gold grill pieces down as the floor for the shower. And then the back wall here is going to have the shower and the shower hot cold buttons on it. We'll use this little piece here and then we're obviously going to need a shower head so we're going to use a technique piece here so we can attach a little tappy thing with a little disc and ta-da we've got the easiest shower known to mankind there it's perfect shower's done now we still need to fit in uh, a toilet and a hand basin so we'll tuck the toilet in here with this fancy little top on it <laughs> that's the toilet lid and oh, Okay, so we are desperately running short of room here. I want to tile, I know, we're going to tile the floor in white and I might just move the toilet one more stud forwards, I think, because I have a plan. And if it's here, yeah, if it's, if it's, okay, so we'll put this smooth part in, toilet in, more smooth flooring. In fact, we're going to make the smooth flooring go all the way to the edge because I have a plan for how to make this room more accessible because it's really tiny, right? And it's, it's going to be really hard to get your fingers in here to get the mini dolls into play. So we are going to make a swinging out door over here or a wall. The wall's going to swing out. So we need that smooth part for it to swing out from. So let's build up here and put a hinge on there so our that part of the wall will swing open and that will have the basin on it and that's going to give us more room to actually work with and play with. Let me see. Okay, so at the moment I'm building hanging in the air with the bricks hanging in the air, but this is so that I can actually see what I'm doing because I'm not very good at visualizing this and I have to actually just do it. Uh... And this part's going to be, oh, we can put her brush here or her comb. Going to use this very fancy big comb. And she's, of course, going to need a mirror for this spot. Put it around that way because that's the nicer side of this mirror. And next to that, we're going to put the sink. But we need another little hinge on the top here to hold it really nice and strongly in place. Looks good. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. Okay, bathroom sink. We're going to build it down here kind of, and see how I go, and then we'll take it up and attach it. So we're gonna have a nice big window so she can look out at the awesome view, because there's always an awesome view in the penthouse. Sink, uh, squeezy soap of some sort, and of course she needs a tap. It's okay, and I've got this little 90 degree piece here to make the legs of the sink, and because we need to build it up a bit, put a little bit of translucent on the front of it. That's to match what we already have up there, which is the other legs already hanging off the wall up, upstairs. I think, I don't know whether that's gonna quite work. I think I might've put some bits on wrong there. So let's just take it up, put it in place, and see that I did go wrong. Okay, so the idea was right. I just need to change my angle piece down there, my little 90 degree angle. And it needs to go not that, that way. We needs to go this way. So let's, now I'm dropping everything. This is what happens when you try and build in the air. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> but when you're making up as you go along, it's pretty important that you uh, can see what you're doing. For me anyway, because, you know, I have troubles. <laughs> so many trouble oh, I'm dropping everything let's, let's let's just do this let's put this part on here put it over here that's the legs that's looking that's looking better we don't have this big blank space down the bottom anymore and now if I put this little two piece down here and then now it's in the right spot then we put our little translucent transparent piece there and look legs of a sink nice big sink <gasps> Good art. Oh, look at that. Okay, and down here, I want to just build that up so that we've got our outside wall for the bathroom. <laughs> cool. And up here, we've got room for a shelf, so let's do it. Let's put a shelf up here. Now, this should be nice and easy. I can figure this out. So let's uh, put a little outlying shelf lined in pink, 
and it's got all of her important beautiful beauty face refreshant hair conditionery stuff up on it stored and displayed because why wouldn't you display it because it's also beautiful this one's definitely perfume of some description I wonder what fragrance Rapunzel would like and underneath we can have a light so that it lights up the area underneath nice so nice okay and it still all goes in beautifully and now now I think we'll just check to make sure there is enough room Rapunzel can have a shower squishy but it works and she can come and stand at the sink here and she can go to the toilet no she can't uh okay so she's going to have to <laughs> she's gonna have to sit on the toilet at a slightly strange angle let's let's just there. if she just sits there see sometimes you just gotta make do with the space that you have okay oh oh look at this star that doesn't fit there that's so sad that just looks so good up there Oh, all right, so I'll just put a flower up here and now let's build up the outside. We're going to have a little matching partition with our stained glass pieces with the black and the alternating pink and purple and pink and purple. Oh, hold on. That's too much pink in one spot. Let's just uh, let's just change how we're alternating it so that the purple is next to our little pink lotion bottle up there because I had to put the flower up there instead of the gold star, which makes me sad, but I'll live. Okay. Technique piece up the top, that's a plan for soon. But before we go to our soon part, we are going to strap all these pieces in with a line of color and a smooth white. So nice big line of the light purple here and I'm starting to run low on our little flat pieces of light purple. And I also have to make sure that where I put them here, I don't go over the hinge so that it still opens but at the moment everything is still looking very very wobbly but don't worry because we're going to strap it all in nice and securely with my white smooth pieces so this one here is going to go over this big part there make that nice and secure look at that solid as a rock and if we can that one's going to wobble if we don't actually make sure we interconnect them all and then we just need a four here and uh, let's just put the two here and nice big long one there. There we go. The top part of the walls are done and it's looking good. Now here I wanted a hanging basket of some sort, but I gave up on that idea because I just needed to make use of the space. So we're going to make just a hanging plant. We're going to just make some pretty plant here going on. This is kind of a little balcony area where she can come out on and she can she can well she can do the modern version of painting let's put some flowers on here first though because i really wanted some plants in here we've got to have lots and lots of plants just lots of pretty flowers because she loves flowers and because this wall swings out we have a problem i can't actually extend the wall because if i put a wall next to it then our swing doesn't work so do just we're just gonna have like i said a, a balcony kind of area so that i can have our swingable wall. So we're going to put a little plant pot down here with some more pretty, pretty plants in it. Going to just bring nature into the city. And of course we need a pink flower on the top of this because, because, hmm, that's a perfect reason. All right, let's put our, let's extend our little railing along here just to make sure it all looks pretty good when it's finished, more lights, more clear pieces. I'm going to start stocking up on clear pieces, I think, if we're going to do more of these modern builds. It's nice. And uh, let's remove that because we still need to work in this area. So in here, she's got, she's going to have, let me just decide where this is going to go best. I think here, she's going to have an easel, but it's a modern day easel. So it's like a, a, a thinking board, you know, her working board, a graphic art board. So she's not working with a paintbrush. She's working with a whole heap of different mediums so but it's like an easel and once again you'll recognize this from one of the lego friends builds but it works perfectly it's just perfect so here is her modern easel and we're going to use these pieces to strap it in at the back make it nice and solid and then we can just pop it on here and angle it however we want to so that she can draw or paint or cut or whatever she wants put fabric swatches on for her mixed media art up here that's just, the splash of colour is just so pretty. Okay, let's put the railing back in and I think we're done.
I think, I think we can't fit anything more into this space without it getting super duper cluttered. So upstairs is done, downstairs is looking so good. And this was so much quicker than making a DIY miniature doll's house kit because Lego is meant to work like this and easy to take the top off because we've just got these jumper studs and we just disconnect the stairs from the bottom. See? So if you want to get in downstairs, you just take it off and then you just pop it back on the little jumper studs on the top and you just put the stairs back on and it's perfect. All right, so the outside doesn't look too terrible. The, the, swinging, the swinging door for the bathroom allows us to have so much more space. I'm glad I thought of that. And it's all done. So I think all the princesses need a modern apartment. So who am I going to make the next one for? I mean, Rapunzel's having such a good time here, chilling out on her bed, drinking a cup of tea, reading about the latest news in Ninjago and it, it, I think it's unfair that the other princesses have to live in castles. So let's make some for them, shall we? So make sure you subscribe, make sure you let me know who you think needs the next one. And I'll be back with a new video very, very soon. So I'll see you then. Bye.